everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and tonight I'm reviewing the QQQs. The reason that I'm reviewing the QQQs is because the market is definitively 100%, 150, 1000% bullish. And it was a great call that I made. Market made a new high on the year today, November 3rd, which I predicted. Prior high was July 114.39. We hit up on over that yesterday. And once we did that, which I discussed with the trading room, this is, gosh, this is like, I actually talked about it in July. It might even be on YouTube, but the people in the room heard it. I said, this is the last level of resistance. This is the last level of resistance in the market. just continue rallying right up and make a new high. There wasn't any more resistance after that number. Wow. 120.50-ish. There'll be an all-time high in the market in the QQQs, which, which I predicted, which I actually predicted in November of 2014. And even though we had the anomaly day oops, that happened here in August, gap down. Close the night before at 102.40. The market actually gapped down and opened at 94.23. Fell 10 points on the live day. In the first five minutes of the day, swooshed and regated the swoosh and flipped. Rallied all the way up to 102.53. And the reality is that I talked about it in the room. We didn't trade that day. I didn't do anything because I said this is a day you do not want to trade because things are strange. It was strange the market gap down. But because I understand the stock swoosh, which is the play I embedded in the market, and the negation of the swoosh, which happened, again, all me that I embedded in the market, I knew then that the market actually got bought on this day. And therefore, it got bought with institutional money. And I also understood that the low, which was 84.74, did not break the chart of this market, that the market was still in a bullish uptrend despite the gap down that happened on the 24th because I know how to read trends in the chart. That's something I teach in the trends class and the golden gap course. But to make a long story short, the reality is that I knew all since last year and even all this year and even with the gap down, the market would make a new high and it did it yesterday, following through today, and I just don't see anything anything at all that stops us from making a new high, an all-time high in the QQQs over 120.50, meaning just continue the rally. We will make that new high before the end of the calendar year. My goodness, it's two months away. But I'm saying to you that we could actually just straight on go right up there. One of these days, since the market has given 100% confirmation that in fact it is higher, which I've said all along, one of these days we could just gap up big. And I kind of said that to the trading room about a week ago. I'm like, and I, and I off the cuff, just looked at the market live and was going over it. I might have it in a video. I don't know about the room, but I said, oh my Lanta. I said, I think we actually end up gapping up like something significant. We didn't do that today. We got down today and rallied. We got down yesterday and rallied. I've been calling the market long, which is fine, but we haven't been doing it in the last few days as a gap up. But what I'm saying to you is don't be surprised if one morning you roll out of bed and all of a sudden the market in the QQQs or the SPY ETFs has gapped up significantly because the market's getting bought. What an amazing call I made here in this market. It's, it's unfortunate that at the time that I made the call in the market that it was long a year ago, and at the time I made the market that it was long in August 24th uh, of 2015, it's, it's, it's actually a shame that I wasn't on live TV at the time, which I will be in the future. But at the time of the fact that I made all these calls about the market, it's a shame I wasn't on live TV because more people would have taken advantage of my call and been able to make money with it because the reality is that I do have an amazing skill to be able to predict what stocks in the market will do before they do them in a way that no one on the planet knows how to do. And it's really because of the fact that I have studied gaps
for the last seven years of my life. And I have invented a way that I teach in my class, in the Golden Gap class, that predicts what the market and stocks will do before they even do that. that. And, and that is how you make money truly in the market and be able to see things in a chart before they happen. So this is Melissa Armo with the stockswoosh.com. If you're interested in the taking the Golden Gap course and learning my method and actually trading with me, the class is this weekend, November 7th and 8th, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time. I'd love to have you. Email me at melissa at the stockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. I'll just keep tracking the market every day. Sorry, I haven't had time to do any videos about the market till today. But if you're in the live trading room with me, obviously, obviously, you know that this is amazing. And I don't even have anything left to say. <laughs> Go market, rally. I'm the girl that loves to short. And I called the market higher when no one else was even on the gap down that happened, that open and drop and swish. You gotta learn how to read money in the market and it doesn't matter what direction you take it, you just better get it right. Have a good night, everyone.